What's up guys, Slider Fits back here with another video. This time we're doing another Skyrim build. This build is a king build, so this is a uh, king character. This could be the king of Skyrim or of another land. That is up to your choosing and your uh, roleplay choices. But uh, so yeah, basically this build is what I would call, I guess, like a challenge build. Basically meaning it's kind of a themed build that uh, doesn't use any armor. So I've definitely, you know messed around with some builds like this on uh, Skyrim and in Fallout of you know when you get later in the game uh, trying to make it harder on yourself by not using armor and it's actually pretty fun I would say um, and I think this is kind of a cool vibe to go for um, a cool role playing choice and a pretty cool looking outfit so yeah let's go ahead and get into it and then for weapons this guy uses a dragon bone great sword I thought this was pretty fitting for a king you know, a uh, warrior so great that now he fights with no armor and just with a giant ass sword. <laughs> um, but yeah, so for damage, it has a damage of 370, which is a fuck ton. And I enchanted it so it has the chaos enchantment, so a 50% chance of each element of fire, frost, and shock to do 28 points of damage, which is really good. And I also gave it the paralyze enchantment, uh, so a chance to paralyze the target for 7 seconds. And if anyone out there is newer to the game and doesn't know how you get two enchantments on a weapon or on anything, it is the final perk in the enchantment skill tree. Okay, and then, so for armor, um, you know, obviously this guy wears clothes, so, you know, I hope it's obvious to everyone out there, not the best armor in the game, um, actually, you know, tied for the worst. Um, and so, you know, this outfit, uh, I made is just more, or this, you know, build is more about just making kind of a cool looking build. I just think this is a really cool looking outfit. These pieces pair together and definitely gives it a super kind of, you know, kingly look. Um, I think the, you know, the circlet matches with the gilded, uh, wrist guards and, you know, matches also with a fine raiment. So yeah, the fine raiment, um, a really cool looking uh you know outfit it looks cool on in the male and the female version i believe the female version is what the um queen lady in uh solitude wears or the yarl queen i don't know what her title is but uh yeah really cool looking uh outfit and i uh enchanted it so it increases my health by 70 points and my health regenerates 35 percent faster and then gilded wrist guards um these i'm pretty sure the only way to get them is in the uh assa i mean the dark brotherhood quest line uh when you kill the emperor uh they are like sitting on a shelf um when you go to kill him and i'm pretty sure besides that there's no other way to get them that's what i heard um but that could be incorrect and for jewelry, I did gold and diamond. I thought that was fitting for a king. For the necklace, I enchanted it so two hand attacks do 45% more damage and my health is increased by 70 points. And the ring I enchanted so my health regenerates 35% faster and two hand attacks do 45% more damage. Uh, the gold and ruby circlet uh, I enchanted so restoration costs 28% less to cast as well as alteration. Um, you know, this guy, uh, in terms of magic, basically just uses alteration to, uh, give himself some protection since he doesn't wear armor. And then restoration to heal, obviously. And then pleated shoes. I'm not quite sure where you get these. Um, these might be something you commonly encounter. They seem kind of uncommon to me. I don't feel like I see these very often. But, uh, I could be wrong. Um, these might be hard to get. I'm not quite sure. Um, but... Uh, I enchanted them so two handed attacks do 45% more damage and my stamina regenerates 35% faster so I can do more uh, power attacks obviously. So for alteration you want to do novice all the way through expert so you can do ebony flesh and then get atronox so you absorb 30% of magicka of any spells that hit you so you can take you know damage and turn that back into uh, magicka. And then uh, stability, your alteration spells have a greater duration. And the major armor three have uh, protection spells like stone flesh are three times as strong if not wearing armor. So I just realized a second ago because I'm wearing the gilded wrist guards, this actually does not have an effect on me. So you know, the price of fashion. Um, <laughs> you know, this build look, this you know outfit looks cool, but it might not be the best for fighting. But you know, it just looks so damn cool. And then dual casting, of course, and uh, yeah, that's it for alteration. Oh, as well as magic resistance. I almost forgot. Blocks 30% of spells effects. 
And so the only other uh, skill tree you're going to need is two-handed because this build is mostly just kind of showing off a cool look. Um, basically, it's just straightforward kind of alteration and two-handed build. Um, so Barbarian, two-handed attacks you twice as much damage when you max it out. And the champion stance, uh, power attacks with two-handed weapons cost 25% less stamina. Devastating blow, standing power attacks do 25% bonus damage with a chance to decapitate your enemies. Sideways power attacks with two-handed weapons hit all targets in front of you. Backwards power attacks has a 25% chance to paralyze the target. And um, finally... Maxing out deep wounds, so attacks with great swords have a 20% chance of doing even more critical damage. And then I almost forgot restoration, guys. Um, so yeah, since you don't have armor, you're definitely gonna want to have some uh, restoration. So do novice and apprentice, so you can do fast healing, and then uh, restoration dual casting and recovery too, so your magicka regenerates 50% faster, so you can heal yourself more. And then regeneration, uh, god, if I can get on it. So healing spells cure 50% more. So one thing I will say about uh, this look, this outfit, uh, this build, is that the Gilded Wrist Guards do slightly kind of clip or intersect with um, the Fine Raiment. Um, it's better than a lot of other things. The fine raiment you cannot really wear many wrist guards with or any sort of gauntlets with. This is what it looks like with nothing. So it's, you know, the gilded wrist guards almost look like they're made for it. Like I, I originally kind of thought they were like made for it because they go so well with it. And you can only kind of find it in that one spot in a, you know, in the emperor's cabin. But, uh, yeah, they definitely aren't because they kind of clip with it. They're a little bit too long. But, you know, if you back it up, you can barely see it at all. It's only really when you zoom in. You can kind of see when you run, though. That's the one part when you run in third person, you can kind of see it a good bit, which is a little well, hey, annoying and kind of takes you out of the game. The uh, but, yeah, it's not the worst thing in the world. I just wanted to uh, show you guys it. So, guys, I thought about just going ahead and um, ending the video since, you know, I feel like it would kind of be obvious, um, you know, how this build plays out. You know, he just uses a sword and all. But I also thought, you know, it's not really a Slaughter Fist video if we don't kill some Forsworn or guards. So, you know, let's go ahead and get into it. It's a one shot on a normal Forsworn, I believe that was. But I did not really get a chance to see her name. Never so not even uh, using ebony flesh Oops. yet, and I did not take terrible damage. That's a good sign. Oh, one strike, not even a power shot. Oh god. These guys are getting messed up, and I'm on the highest difficulty. This sword just does so much damage. Oh. And paralyze, of course, is uh, brutal as always. I was kind of worried I might need some absorption spell or something, but this is actually holding up pretty well, this alteration. This is what I gotta watch out for getting slowed down by these people. Ah! Fuck. You won't live. Oh yep, yeah, that's what I wanted to paralyze. That is exactly what I wanted. So I guess they resist fire damage? I didn't know that. I didn't know Ravagers could do that. Damn. Well, I think that's a good place to end it, guys. 
Um, yeah, let me know what you think of this build. Uh, I think it's pretty damn uh, cool looking. You know, obviously not the best build in the game, uh, but in terms of aesthetics, it is fucking dope. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.